want to congratulate my friend Patrick Leahy for once again assuming the position of President Pro Tem after six years of absence, I believe, and also to express my working relationship with him in the 40 years that he and I have served together in the United States Senate, but also to the fourth estate because we always read about rancor on television, radio, and print. They never speak about how senators get along. We've seen a peaceful transfer of leadership position in the United States Senate from a senator from Kentucky to a senator in New York. Now for the second purpose of rising, because most of my colleagues don't know when there's nobody on the Senate, and I open the Senate up for uh, prayer and uh, for the Pledge of Allegiance, I usually give a one-minute speech. And I'd like to give my last one-minute speech as President Pro Tem, not saying I won't take advantage of that opportunity when nobody else is around as well. <laughs> Four years ago, our nation's capital was full of people who had come to celebrate a new president's inauguration, and it was full of people who came to protest the winner of that election. This Biden inauguration was different in that respect, but this year, just like four years ago, there are Americans who questioned the election outcome and did not want the inauguration to proceed. Since election day, I have urged Americans to have faith in our constitutional system and let the Constitution work the way it has for 240 years, work its course. Today was a culmination of that process. Like four years ago, I know that many Americans are not happy with how it turned out. That is absolutely fine, just like four years ago was fine for those people that resisted. In our country, nobody is obliged to like or support a president, but hopefully, hopefully people will really respect the office of the presidency regardless who holds it. However, while the presidents change hands, I hope we can retire, hashtag resist. You wouldn't know it listening to partisan commentators from the right or left, but you do not have to make a choice between giving your president unqualified support or total opposition to the president. As a legislator, I, wanna, I would be doing a disservice to those I represent if I did either unqualified support for a Republican president or total opposition to a Democrat president. In my work on behalf of Iowans, I have to engage with the administration of the day if I want to be a responsible senator. As I have with every president, I will seek to find common ground with President Biden, Biden wherever possible but I will strongly oppose policies that I think are not good for Iowa and all Americans. That will be on input that I receive from my fellow Iowans.